Celebration on the streets of Havana following a diplomatic breakthrough that could pave the way to potentially ending the U.S. Cuba embargo. Viva Fidel and Raul. Let them live forever. U.S. President Barack Obama and Cuban President Raul Castro made the televised announcement almost simultaneously with the U.S. to open an embassy in the island nation. On the streets of Miami, some Cuban Americans say the news has been a long time coming. I want there to be relations between Cuba and the United States because that guarantees that Cuba will finally be free. Others say it puts the U.S. and Cuba at risk. I think we don't need to pay that high a price. The U.S. is a big power. It needs to continue functioning like one and tighten its pants. I think Obama's pants are coming loose. Miami Mayor Tomas Regalado. Cuba is a still a terrorist nation by the State Department standards. But I think that the most important thing is uh, that, uh, you know, you expect that you get something in return for all the things that the United States is trying to do in Cuba. But it may not all be smooth sailing for Americans wishing to travel to Cuba, as lifting the decades-old trade embargo would require U.S. congressional approval.